Oh, welcome to Vandabilly.com. This is in response to a request from a buddy of mine for uh, Blackfoot's Baby Blue from the Strikes album in 1979. Great, great rock and roll song. Um, there are no chords or tabs or lessons on this anywhere that I can find. And so it's a, it's a good one to do a lesson on. Uh, like all Blackfoot songs, it's uh, a two-guitar song, and I'm going to try and do a version you can play on one guitar. Uh, so I'm going to do the uh, intro, the chorus, and verse, and then I'll take a look at the solo. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, the one guitar challenge comes in immediately in the intro. The intro is um, the chords in the intro are uh, an E chord on the seventh fret with the low E open, low E string. Uh, a C sharp chord on the fourth fret again with the low E open, and then a D chord on the fifth fret, low E open. So. Uh, and you're emphasizing these lower strings. Now, in the studio, there's a riff that goes something like... Uh, but you're probably going to have a, a trouble doing that, uh, you know, if you just have one guitar. So I've worked out a sort of an approximation of that, that you can uh, just run off the D chord, and it goes sort of like this. Uh, and so what I'm doing is I'm sliding this... Um, first finger uh, from the A string 5th fret to the 4th fret and then picking it up and then sliding it back from the 4th to the 5th and then sliding the whole chord so that's and uh, that sort of gives you the feel of it with without having uh, two guitars going on now uh, he plays that figure um, uh, three times, and on the fourth time, he just plays to an A chord. And then he goes through the verses playing that figure again, um, plays it four times, and then he comes into um, an A chord um, to a double stop on the seventh fret of the G and the D strings, and play the... Uh, Play the A, A string in there as well, so, it's, so it's, it sounds like a suspend chord. All right. Then either put your ring finger or your pinky on the G string ninth fret and keep your ring or your first finger on the D string seventh fret, and you get and then back to the double stop on the seventh. So, And he has a little slide up where he starts on the uh, D string, um, D string fifth fret, slides up to the seventh, and then A string uh, tenth and ninth, and back to so uh, all of that together is. Um, and then the only other part of the song is the is the chorus. Um, you know, he plays that whole figure uh, twice. Uh, and then he goes to a, a B chord. And then an E, and this is this E is. Um, just over here on the on the top frets, it's kind of like the D moved up to two frets, except that you, you're going to add 
So, you, so you've got this figure, and you're going to add your ring finger on the uh, D string uh, sixth fret. So, and then just put your pinky down on the G string um, sixth fret, and you have a C sharp minor and then back to an A. So that whole thing is just... And then back to... Uh, and that's uh, pretty much the chorus for the song. Now we'll take a look at the solo. Okay, the solo is a twin guitar solo, uh, so this is only half of it, but this is the half that you want to play, uh, the dominant half, uh, if you only have one guitar. You start on the uh, G string 8th fret, and you hammer on to the ninth, or you, you don't hammer on to the ninth, you pick on to the ninth. So that's a full bend. Slide up to the seventh uh, to the eleventh fret. Then you repeat that figure, except instead of sliding up, you go down to the D string uh, ninth fret. All right. Then uh, you move up to the G string twelfth fret and give it a bend, full bend. And then what you're doing is you're going to get the release and pull off to the uh, G string 11th fret and then come down on the D string uh, 14th fret and that should sound like this. Then you go back to this. Only you, 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 you flip it so that you're coming down on this uh, bottom part first and then you're doing the slide up. Then you move over to the B string, 13th fret, and do a bend. And that's the same thing. It's a, it's a bend, and then you're picking the release, pulling off to the 12th fret, and then coming down on the uh, G string, 14th fret. Um, and then you finish it with, um, again, hitting the G string 14th and a little chromatic run up the uh, B string, uh, 12, 12, 13, 14 is a hammer on. And then E string, uh, 12th fret twice, uh, 14th fret, and slide up to the uh, 16th fret. So the whole thing is, slowly is, uh, Then you're back to, and that's it. So uh, it's a it's a great song. Uh, I think uh, it can be done with one guitar. It's certainly great to do it with two. Uh, great song for your band. So I hope you enjoy it. Take care.